Hi everybody, my name is Lance Wilkinson and today I would like to share a few answers to a few questions that are part of my story toolbox. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, why do you want to be a data analyst? For me, for as long as I can remember, I've always been good with numbers and excelled in math and most STEM subjects and courses. Most data analyst roles, as well as other data professional roles, encompass many of the skills that are my strengths, as well as some of the more intriguing and recently acquired computer science knowledge skills, tools, and abilities I've cultivated over the past five years when completing my bachelor's in mathematics, studying independently, self-teaching, and while earning certification in data analytics. I am an avid learner and a self-starter with a meticulous eye for detail when it comes to breaking down problems and structured analysis of data. These qualities, a good knowledge of database tools, a strong technical background, and the hunger to innovate and advance align me to successfully perform in the data analytics field and in various data analyst roles, whether that be BI analyst, data scientist, data engineer, and etc. Does my background align with the type of candidate you have in mind to fill this position on the data team? Another question I get asked a lot is, why do you want to work at this company? So my answer for a notable healthcare and technology company sounded similar to this. I heard the team manager is a down to earth person who promotes ambitious independent work, but is still open to questions, communication and mentoring. I am looking forward to becoming an integral piece on this team of diverse, talented individuals of various professional backgrounds and working with great people makes a gigantic difference. I really admire the initiative the company takes to serve and help communities advance in healthcare by focusing on providing sincere health assistance to individuals and innovating new ways to streamline general day-to-day -day processes for members and providers. I was specifically intrigued to hear the CIO, Mark Brooks, speaking about the success achieved through rapid development of TrueCare, an innovative solution built upon the technology core of the company, delivering new utilization management and core management capabilities. It is these type of innovative technologies that leverage data-driven insights towards healthcare advancement that truly excite data analysts like myself about the company's future as the leader in the healthcare industry. As a member of the company's data and technology team, I would relish every opportunity to leverage such significant and unique data sets via data-driven insights that accelerate the company in order to meet the technology mandate and delight members and providers experience with innovation. I intend to help by streamlining the technology footprint across various business areas through integration of acquisition data using a support platform such as Power BI to generate enterprise-wide reporting and analytics. Through commitment on this team for years to come, I'll play a vital role in the innovation of processes as we continue the company's initiative to delight individuals via integration and automation of daily business operation systems and use data to define optimal health, generate advanced healthcare, and cement the company as the leading impact on the healthcare industry for the future to come. One of the questions I was recently asked in an interview was tell me about a time you had to handle a conflict with your colleagues. So earlier this week, I was asked to work Monday morning at 6 a.m. The general manager and I agreed that I would work until 11 a.m. and no later than noon, as I had post-shift engagement afterwards, scheduled for 1230. The general manager was not working at the store that Monday, so the first assistant manager was leading the shift. During the final hour of my shift at about 11.15 a.m., I reiterated to the first assistant manager, just in case he forgot, 
that it is less than an hour before I leave. And I wanted to ask what tax you may have for me to complete prior to 12 o'clock noon when I leave so I can have a clear idea and plan of what I should prioritize first and so I can execute and complete the task ASAP. The 1A basically replies, you're fine right now with what you're doing. Just finish stocking the floor cooler with product and continue to keep the sales floor merchandised, merchandised and clean and up to standard. So I do as I was asked and after a little over 10 minutes has passed, about 11.28 a.m., he asked me to go prep bun trays in the back room. I asked him if I should prep two trays, which is considered the norm or average amount an employee is usually asked to do at most stores, which is also the logical amount considering I haven't yet set up the prep area and there's less than 30 minutes left in my shift. He tells me to fill the entire back stock racks, which includes 10 shelves with a little over five trays currently filled already. Therefore, I would have to set up an area for prep and completely prep four to five trays all in under 30 minutes to complete this feat. My response to his request was, I'm sure I have the time to complete at least two trays, but I don't think there's enough time for me to completely fill the rest of the entire rack. I can promise you I will prep the trays until noon and finish the last tray that I'm prepping at that time but I have an engagement after work and don't don't want to be late, hence my inquiry about remaining taxed at 11.15. He tried to motivate me to do the task at the same illogical pace that I've never witnessed before in eight years with the company. Since I was once a manager, I asked if he would like to swap tasks with me to illustrate and showcase this unbelievable pace of prepping bun trays and in 25 minutes he quickly declined my proposition <laughs> and i told him i will gladly do my best to prep as many trays as possible until around noon he said okay i went to the back room and prepped bun trays until 1203 when i finished the third tray i cleaned my area from supplies and trash and then proceeded to the front to clock out the 1a then asked how many I completed and was content with three out of four trays being completed. He thanked me and I left for the day. I also followed up with the general manager of the store location the next day to provide some feedback on a couple of things that happened that day, including this, this last situation. The general manager and I have a good working relationship since he values my experience, expertise, and point of view on work subject matter. We discussed a few things and he thanked me for helping out at his store and for the feedback as always.